Uh, you offered, that was something unusual, apologies to Orthodox Christians for the atrocities committed against uh, them during the Ottoman Empire. Why do you think that apologies are necessary now? True religion has zero tolerance for oppression, whether it is Judaism or Christianity or Islam or any other religion which claims to have truth. I don't think any Jew will differ with me. The true religion has zero tolerance for oppression. The Ottoman Empire was an oppressor with a capital O. It said that it was waging a jihad against the Christians. Does the Quran ask you to do that? Is it the Sunnah of the Prophet to do that? That was a bogus jihad, like ISIS today. You are waging wars of aggression. You are waging wars to oppress a people. And therefore you must be condemned for that. That oppression continued for 600 years. And it was done in the name of Islam. That's why I have to apologize. Not only were the Christians deceived into believing that it was Islam which was victorious on the battlefield of Kosovo. That's what the Christians believed. Islam defeated us. They were deceived. No, it was not Islam. It was Gog and Magog. It was not Islam. It was Gog and Magog. And I am the scholar who's pursuing the subject of eschatology. So I do have some credentials to speak about Gog and Magog. Of course, when I make a statement, you're free to defer with me. But if I'm wrong, you must tell me what is right. Otherwise, it's arrogance. Not only did they deceive the Christians, they deceived the Muslims as well. And the Muslims believed that this was a great Islamic empire fighting jihad on the name of Islam. And all those who die killing the Christians will go to heaven. They deceived them. One of the reasons why they were able to deceive them was because they achieved what I thought would have been impossible. They took the capital of Islam from the Arab world and brought it to the capital city of the Orthodox Christian world. There are many strange things which have happened in history, Daniel, but I don't find anything to beat this one. To take the capital of the, Christ of the Muslim world and bring it and pack it up in the capital of the Orthodox Christian world. And now you have credentials to speak for Islam. That's how they managed to deceive the Muslim world, that they were great representatives of Islam. Don't come to me and tell me the, the Ottoman Empire did this which was good and that which was good and that which was good. It's irrelevant. My, my statement is that the Ottoman Empire was an oppressor. Yes or no? Once it is an oppressor, it is not representative of Islam. Uh, do you think that apology is necessary from the other side too? Whatever was done in the name of Islam and did not represent Islam and caused injury to others, like taking the greatest cathedral of the Orthodox Christian world, Hagia Sophia, and uh, shamefully um, transforming it and sinfully transforming it into a masjid to drive a dagger into the heart of the Christian world that will bleed eternally. I have a duty to set the record straight. I have a duty to say this was shameful, disgraceful, sinful. And I have a duty to apologize on behalf 
of Islam. In doing so, I'm setting an example. And I hope I'm not doing it in any way condescendingly or arrogantly. I'm setting an example. It is not for me to turn to the Orthodox Christian world, my brothers, to say you were wrong in doing this and you were wrong in doing that and you did this which is wrong. No. It is for my brother, the Orthodox Christian, and he is my brother. It is for him to look at his record and see what are those things which were done on, in the name of Christianity which were not representative of Christianity and denounce them rather than me doing it.